It is time for round three here in this magical land we call... Uh, I don't know what we call it. <laughs> Let's just play. Um, how many people are undefeated here? What is going on? Who's in this league? Big Stupid. Anomat the Nummy. I have... I have watched Nummy stream. That makes me almost famous. On the die roll, we will uh, begin. We will keep... Although, again... We need that black source, but we have we have place, we have a gearhawk in hand. I think we have to keep this. On the play, uh, mulligans are a risky business. So just gonna rock the puzzle knot here. At least we have place on turn two and three if if nothing else. And uh, that gives us two draw steps to find a swamp. Or something else. So, uh, let's see how this works out. We are playing Albaloch. Albaloch! We summon you. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see what he does. So, we see, we see a blue-green energy go weird wide. Yeah, okay. Here's the prison right on time. wonder if we're going to see someone go off like uh, like they did against us in our second draft with Marlon yesterday. I don't know. Yeah, yesterday, uh, real time. I don't know how far apart these videos be. Videos be. I'll probably post them right away. I don't see any reason to hang on to them for very long. Alright, let's smash, play rats, and pass the turn. Ah, <sighs> You might notice there's a lot fewer laughs <laughs> now that I'm doing this on my own. And uh, I have to say that, you know, while just have, uh, having to manage a conversation while drafting, uh, already, already sp talking while drafting, talking while playing, it requires more work and it's, it's harder to do. By maintaining a conversation and, and weighing in on other people's opinions while drafting, that that is really hard. But I have to tell you guys one thing. It's a lot of fun. Sure, uh, we you, you, could, you could argue that we perhaps didn't always make the correct plays. Not maybe always. But... Uh, I think you could notice from uh, from the video uh, if you if you if you if you watched it that uh, if there was one thing that we did do it was we had fun sacrifice so having instruct indestructible doesn't help there. All right, well we are going to smash. Now we're going to be able to play Gearhawk next turn. So. Do we really want to? We don't want to play out the shield guard then, because that way we lose. Uh, we lose things. So we'll just uh, play this, and we'll see what he plays. Hopefully, he plays another creature or another artifact, so that he has to. Well, of course, this this artifact isn't worth very much. But we do want to. I think we do want to play out the gearhog next turn. That is fantastic. No, it's an artifact creature, so he can keep. He can keep that. Well, that sucks. Okay. Let's see what we'll do here. There's not much we can do, really. But I think we're still. I think there's play still to play out the Gearhawk here. Although it's. Hmm. I actually wonder now. I mean, should we have played this out, just developed our board? Ah, uh, yeah. I think I've made a mistake there, because he's... Yeah, I should have played this out, but I didn't, of course, know what we were going to draw. But we have Fortuitous Fine, so we can get things back. Let's attack first and see uh, what we end up... What, what ends up happening here. And I should have cracked this and attacked with for another point of damage, of course. Those of you who noticed that are correct. That is the correct play. All right, it's fine. So we play the Gear Hulk. I have a four or five vigilance, which is already fine. Okay, and he has to put away just one thing, so it's not bad for him either. All right, that's it. Done. And he gets to choose. There we go. And the good thing is we have Fortuitous Find here, but um, the bad news is we should have uh, got in for one more point of damage because I should have cracked the, the 
puzzle knot. But the good news, uh, another good piece of news is that if we lose the gear hook at some point during our fracas, then uh, we can get it back with fortuitous find, like, like that. So it's not a big problem. Let's see if he develops his board, though. Um, should I just get it back right away? I think it's kind of the thing to do. Um, yeah. Let's attack. Now I could I could block the one four, save one damage. Hmm. What do I do here? See if if he sees me play take. All right. That's the thing. So now I can get back the rats and the uh, Hulk. That's fine. I'm gonna take a bit of that. Oh no! Ah, uh, all right. That was that was a little bit of a punt. And when I say a little bit of a punt, it was a humongous punt. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I just completely misclicked there. I should have I clicked one one too far away. So we we were we were in a bad spot in that game anyway, so it's okay. Now do we want Avier mechanics here in this particular setup? Does he have a lot of small creatures? You know what I think? I think we want an area mechanic instead of the charger. Then we could take a lawless broker. What kind of creatures did he have on the ground there? <sighs> every me every mechanic or this guy. I could see this thing going. Because these pick up the goggles and wear them like crazy. Okay, so yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can if we can uh, have better luck. Yeah, this is fine. So he 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 would he he would rightly consider us to be utter derps here. Uh, because we derped that one pretty bad, but you know it happens, and you know it's <laughs> it's a little bit of a, a, a lesson in humility posting these kinds of drafts where I do these kinds of mistakes, because something it's something to keep in mind for all of us a lot of times is that um, um, we all make mistakes, and it should be it's good not to be judgmental. I totally feel like that. <laughs> well, let's see how this works out now. Uh, at least we have a, a, a nice sequence here now. So he can make one once if he gets plus one plus one counters. This is going to be interesting to see if he can combo off here. So we just attack. And see where we're at. <sighs> Just waiting for him to do something funny. Oh, and there he goes, getting a servo right away. Eek. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, I could have killed in response and stopped him from making a servo, which might... Oh, it's a sorcery. No, I couldn't have done that. Okay. Well, he's got things. I got things. We all got things. I, however, have a trample haste guy, but I almost almost don't want to play it yet. I want to play a three-three here. Um. So that I can next turn play and keep up build to last. See, I don't think we have to hurry here. I think we should. Um, I think we should play a little cautiously. Let's see what he does here. So next turn, play a planes, crew, drag it up. Uh, I mean, play the dragster, crew it up, attack, and if he blocks, we build to last and get in for a bunch of damage and still have our dragster. But we have to be wary of uh, attacking into open mana. So if he just keeps mana open, we might not do that. That's fine. 
So this is this is actually great for us. Because now he's tapped out, he can come in for two. Or if, if he wants to trade off one of the servos, that's fine by me as well. Okay. So play this. Actually I could continuously give it indestructible if I had this. Hmm. <sighs> okay, this is a little bit again uh, sl a slower version of the play, but I think a correct, correct play here. And if he, we can we can block now pretty safely, and then next turn we can attack with both of these, and give it indestructible to the thingamajig. Now, what we also will be doing is we will probably kill that guy. Mm. Yes. He stepped out, so I think uh, kill the flyer. Gonna have to do that at some point anyway. And play a mechanic for no value? No, we can uh, we can play a mechanic. Let's see, we can play a mechanic. Uh, pick up a land and replay it. Yep, that's fine. Um, do we attack here? He stepped out. I think we kind of do. And we also play a mechanic. I don't think we played land this turn, did we? Oh yes, we... No, we didn't. Yes. Take back that. Play that. And smash for three. Alright. And if he attacks, we could even double block here, but I don't think we want to do that. But this um, puts us in a, in, a, in a good solid position here. So he gets some lives, he gets some energy. That's fine. This, this, uh, you choose it. You can, you can grow. Okay, that costs three and tap, so he can't do that now. <sighs> All right, we'll take two. Now he might have a trick that untaps, which is fine, because we will do this. Then we will do this. Oop. And then we'll attack with everything. Except for the 1 1. We can leave. We can attack with the 1 1 2. We don't have to worry about a life total at this point. Let's see what he does. We just have the 1 energy, which, is, of course, is super unlucky. And if he does untap, this will become a 3-6, uh, which means... Yep. But it's still fine. We'll see what he blocks here. If he blocks the 3-4, we will save it, I think. Yes. Because next turn, if we draw land, we wanna... It's too bad we can't uh, kill it, actually, though. But I don't... Oh, the 2-2. Two -two. He gets 2-2. Two -two. That's completely fine. We don't want to waste our uh, spell on the 2-2. Two -two. And he took uh, 11 damage or something like that. This is good. Let's see what he does now. I hope he doesn't have call for inspection for our token. That would be kind of e. But we can... Smash next turn, uh, and we can we can smash smash with our well-built, consulate-approved, fully licensed dragster. Oh, that one has a renegade driving it, though. Oh well, the the, the dragster is licensed. That it's unlawful possession of the dragster in that case. If we get six mana, however, I might be inclined. 
to marry and edit up. Okay, that's a fine. I'm, I accept that as his use of his turn. And uh, we're gonna smash, he's gonna block, and we're gonna build to last. Actually, now we have the possibility to do this as well, which I think is even better. There we go. And main phase, yep, okay. Attack. And he will block. And we will rush. And he takes four, and we gain lots, and we pass the turn. And then the next turn we do it again. <sighs> if he does nothing, he probably has call for inspection. And then we just do it again, replay things after he's bounced it. Um, we'll see how it goes. He might just scoop him up here. Fully possible. I mean, it's always possible, but I guess he should always play it out, see what we have. So we could, if we if we get in line, we could just, uh, if he plays a 5-drop, we can uh, make sure we win by, I don't know, we won't make sure we win by playing Marionette Master, what am I saying? We could play Marionette Master as a 4-6, attack with both servos. We use it to crew. Attack with both servos. If he kills, uh, it's it's better to just uh, smash through again with build to last and then play the Marionette Master next turn. <laughs> Exchange control of stuff. What is he getting now? He's getting that. And that's pretty good for for him. Yeah. Mm, it's pretty good for him, sure enough. So uh, you control. Bah. Well at least I can get back my um Uh, Abdu Flachi, which is really good. Too bad I can't play it out at this stage of the game. Yes, I'd like it. Boop. This is still fine. He doesn't have anything to crew the trampler with. If he does crew it, I will block with the mechanic and uh, stuff. All right, a hermit. Hermitacious man. I didn't want to attack here. That's understandable. Um, on my part, I think I do want to Campbell it up. Because he's doing a lot of uh, fancy stuff. So, I think... Um, Responding by draining him for millions is is fine. All right. Now I got. The, did I take the sky? I uh, take out the sky skiff. I think I did. That's kind of a shame. Now, what would he keep if I? He gets a he gets a servo here. The servo can crew up the. Uh, the car. Uh, if so, I'll block the car with my own servo. If he attacks with uh, Hermit here, I might even double block. But we have already have we played. No, we haven't played any of our recursion spells yet. So he didn't attack, which is good for us. It's probably good for him to to be fair. But um, now, Marionette Master. Or conscious seal guard keep up uh, the indestructible thing. 
I think I want to get Marionette Master out pretty sharpish, but I don't. He's got one card. I don't want to play into the stupid counter spell. So I'll actually do this for now. Oh no, it's a little bit scary, Caddy. But I'm a little bit scary, Caddy, right now. But may wait a minute now. When when is he gonna? If he does have the crappy uh, counter spell, when is he gonna tap out for it? Never. So at some point, I'm probably gonna have to play into that anyway. But um, at this point, I don't think Marionette Master would have done an awful lot to the board. Uh, we're already at the point where if he does attack with um, this guy, we we can double block and play build to last. I kind of want to do that. If he plays, uh, if he activates Dragster and attacks again, we can uh, block with the servo. If he has any tricks, we can we drain him. All right, a flyer, two-two flyer, and that is going to at some point cause us some degree of pain. Mm -hmm. I wish we had a prism. Okay, fair enough. Now. Cataclysmic Gear, Gearhawk, and this board. What do we keep? Kemball and the Gearhawk? I guess. Okay. Here I think it's time for the marionette. And we are making it into a 4 6. So, yep. Let's pass the turn. Next turn we play Foundry Inspector, uh, and we can actually get in with something. We might be able to get in with the Marionette Master, I don't know. No, let's see, we'll see, we'll see. We're at 23, so we're not in immediate, in immediate uh, danger. And now we're gonna get to the point where every card that dies from us is just going to wreck face. And if he has a trick, now so we will block here. Um, if he uses his Hermit to attack, I think we might let that through. Or I'll double block with um, a few things. Let's see what he does now. Uh, probably hunts the weak. Let's see. Yeah, that was, that was a shame. That was a shame. So... Yeah, but we can uh, try to recur that at some point. So we did lose five there, and we gained two. Not the best exchange for us. Not the worst either. Uh, we can recur that somehow, I'm sure, uh, once we get one of our recursion cards. So Goggles here is an interesting little piece of action. If I play that, and put it on our guy here, he becomes a 4-6. So, if he, if he then puts everything in front of it, uh, I don't necessarily like doing that. I could put them on the... Uh, let's see. Let's see where we end up. I think I want to do this, and then I just keep up build to last for now. And uh, hold on to things a little bit, because uh, I think we'll soon be able to smash in for the win here. Let's see, he's done one card. If it's not a great card, then he's in, in not in good shape. He can place on a counter or something to create a servo, which is something we have to keep in mind. Probably what he's doing right now. No, he plays a foul. It's a foul creature. So this could become a four, four, which bounces off of that, and I'd have to make use a spell to make it do anything at all. He also can just increase the size of that. That's true. I could kill that if I attack with this. 
I could... And he blocks with that. I could kill it. Let's see, I might have to do that, actually. Rats. Foiled again. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be a little bit interesting. I could put this on here, make this a 4-6. Attack with this and this. Now I could uh, I could attack with this and I could attack here. He might just uh, what does he put it, put it uh, so it's a four four. So he might just put this in in front of it and then I'll have to use my spell. Um, one two three four five. One two three four five. If I attack with everything, he can eat two creatures kind of. I can make something. Um, indestructible and get in for some damage and kill a bunch of things yeah that might be it that might be the thing to do let's see what we can think of here because he can make more servos all the time so here if I attack with everything he will try to eat two things No, I don't want. I don't want to do that. That's that's bad. That's actively bad. I think having forcing him to use up some a good creature or something here put a take away a real blocker. If he if he blocks with this, I think it's almost like a fine. I'm fine with I'm fine trading there. Let's see what he does. We're still at twenty three, so we're doing all right with the race. This is kind of exactly what I'm doing. This is his only creature with counters on it. So we kill the Batman. This uh, this create this this sort of completely stops his uh, ser servo making machine right now, unless he has a card in hand somehow magically drew a counter making card. Yes, we might take four a turn in the air, but if we he starts attacking in the air, he only has three blockers back, and then we smash. And if he has if he drew a non creature spell, well then uh, we profit off a of Kemba. So I I really like the way that worked out. We uh, that killed his servo. He should really not have blocked with that one. I would have maybe thrown the Hermit and a couple of servos in the way. Because um, as it sits, uh, we are kind of winning this game now. As far as I can tell here. Let's see what he thinks. Let's see if we can salvage these packs. It's um, been an interesting game, interesting deck. If we draw our fortuitous find, that is a, certainly a fortuitous find. We can fish back up our Marriott, Marinette Master, and we can fish back up our uh, Dragster, mm -hmm. and just just smash in and win the game. I like him thinking here. Is this game three? This is uh, maybe this is game two, or maybe it's game three. This game three. So if it's uh, this is for the this is for the for the match and this is for the for the for all the marble more all the marbles, well two marbles out of the twelve marbles that are in the pot. Let's see what he does. Confiscation coup, targeting. Okay, that's that's a a bold a bold play here. So he gets that. He gets another blocker. One, two. That makes us unable to make things unblockable. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. So he's got a four, four. If we put this on here, it's two, four, three, five. 
Uh, he can double block to kill it, then that's no good. Our 4 4, however, cannot be uh, trades with something. So if we attack with that, he has to trade. Mm. Let's trade that with something. And I think uh, we want to force him into doing that. We want to take away his blockers, because we have cards that get our creatures back. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's see what he does. Alright, this is fine. And now we just uh, try to beef this up a little bit so he won't very easily at least kill our Cam Campbell. Uh, again, if we draw the uh, Gear Hulk, I think we are keeping Campbell and the Gear Hulk. He will probably keep his two flyers. Or maybe he'll keep the 3-4 and the flyer, I don't know. If he attacks, we just simply don't block. What can really cause trouble for us here is if he managed to draw, draw a creature that can create uh, counters for him. Is this good? I think it's good. Okay, so we can make a 3-4 now. The problem is he can double block that, so we don't want to do that yet. We just... Uh, let's see, we could uh, move over... Let's see what we can do. That can throw something up in the air. It's not enough for us yet, though. We're just uh, uh, slowly edging out a, 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 a kind of um, way to, to win here. Now that, that should be enough. We can kill this thing, gain a bunch of life, and put the goggles on the bird, and then uh, fly in with, uh, yeah, we can actually fly in with the rats. Uh, hold on. Here we go, and and yes, and yes. Here we go. You have to block, or you have to take four and die. And if you use a, a non-creature spell, you die anyway. There we go. We won't block no matter what he does, we just sit here, and I think we win the match! <laughs> I don't know, it's... Uh, yeah, I think this is good. Ah, oh, shoot, we don't win the match. Was this just game two? Alright, Eddie Trail Hawk is really cool in the end game, just like that. But it's not cool enough to include... Again, what about the Sky Skiff here? It's can block all this broker I think we're kind of fine like this gonna be on the draw does that change anything the pinger doesn't help anything we we, we didn't even draw any of our recursion cards there and we still won <sighs> refurbish no let's just uh, he has some really really good cards there Alright, let's just submit this and see how it goes. I was kind of hoping we'd already won, but uh, we didn't. This doesn't do anything until turn 4, but we can kill an early creature. And he keeps, we keep 2. Uh, I don't think, he's not a fast deck. So, making sure we have the manas. Alright, yeah, maybe we'll, s maybe we'll flood out here. If we do, that would be a really sad ending to the game, but that's just how it goes sometimes. That's fine. That is fine. If he if he plays one of his key utility creatures here, we have to kill it. But otherwise, we'll just uh, slam down the inspector. That's not what I'd call a key utility creature. It is a 
uh, creature that's uh, something we have to keep in mind, but I don't think we have to worry about it. Next turn we have the choice of playing Editrail Hawk and killing something, or uh, just uh, shield guarding it out and attacking. We'll see what he does. I like the fact that we have two removal spells in hand and the manners to cast it, so... Ah, <sighs> let's see how this works out. Okay. That happens. Take two, it's fine. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but we do have cars that bring things back from the graveyard, so... I don't feel terribly bad. I think this is the stronger card to lead with. Next turn, we can... Um, Oh, we have a lot of options next turn. I think uh, rats possibly die young is what I want to do. But let's see just what... Yep, that's that's what's going to happen. He's going to attack. We rat it up. We kill his uh, big guy with our energy. And then go in for three. So... Actually, there might be a reason to do something differently. Um, kill that. Use three. Actually, what if he has a... If he has that spell here, that's gonna kind of... Okay. You should have played, played rats first, because then we could have had six. Yeah, that's a shame. It's a real shame. Um, boo. Yeah, I, that was a big misplay there on my part. Um, play this. Play that. And I could have had six sequencing. Maybe I'll lose the game for that. But he can't block, so I might as well get in for the damage while we have the chance. All right, that was that was that was a sad thing. We traded one for one there, uh, but with the right uh, play, I would have been able to take out the sky whale. Now we have to use uh, our premium removal for it, and that kind of sucks. Yeah, whatever. Take seven. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is not good. We shouldn't have taken uh, that five there, and we might lose an account of it. And that's uh, that's all on me. That's the small kinds of things that magic comes down to. We do have we do have uh, spells in hand still. We have two spells. He has two spells. If we have better spells than him, we have a chance. If we have worse spells than him, we don't have a chance. It's simple as that. If we draw our gear hulk, we can still be in the game. Right, there's a four four. Fortuitous find. That is a fortuitous find. We can take back our console and that thing. First things first though, let's uh, attack. Should I uh, play Rush just to gain life? No, I don't think so. Maybe I should have, actually. Let's see. Let's get Fortuitous Find. This and this. And... Like so. Actually, yeah, you know what? Uh, it's, it's fine. I'll take the damage. I hope he doesn't have a pump spell. And uh, then next turn, smash in and gain some life back. <sighs> we have five mana, so I can play both the Foundry Inspector and the Rush of Vitality. So that should gain me some life. I could also keep the Rush back to 
block his flyer. If he uses up all his energy here to come in, I should be a little bit worried because he might have a pump. And that is possibly bad. Uh, that's not a pump. So we'll see how this works out. It's a 3-3 three, three now. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem later on. But uh, I don't think we block here. We take 7. And we see what we can draw. Okay. So... Let's, he can't attack with that anymore, so he has three. We can get four, five, six life here. But if we do that, we can't play another blocker. But those things bounce off of each other anyway. Let's see. One, two, three. And then it's just one more. Yeah, I think I want to have the creature on the ground here. Let's just see. We attack. Yes, if he bounces this, then we're dead, of course. Let's see what he does. He's one card in hand. Alright, we get five life. We play this guy. And he has to be a little bit scared of his life title now. Just a tad, but still. Because if we get the... Uh, yeah, if we get the, the rats into the air... So he, he now... It's a two-turn clock, so we can take one hit. Then we can jump one time. And uh, he has to start getting worried about... Uh, I guess I could have uh, suited up the... The birds. Confiscation coup. What is he taking here? The rats. Okay, that's fine. It's not fine, fine, but it's okay. Now he's got four. Oh, shoot, he could... He could have activated that and attacked with it. He forgot. We need Gearhulk here. Like... Like no... Nothing else. Now, Gearhog doesn't do it anymore. Uh, what do we, do we need here? We need something that can... ...smash face. Uh, we, if we if we crew that, no, that, that won't work anymore. Well, there is one thing about this. It costs two, then it would make that cost two. No, no, no. Let's see. He's got four attackers. We have to jump, jump. Uh, is there any way we can... He can't block in the air. Hold on. Is this, is this, is this possible? He can't block in the air. We play this. It costs two. This costs two. Shoot. It's too little. Six, seven, eight. <sighs> so close. <sighs> that costs three. Then we can put the goggles on it. Seven, eight. There's no way I can get to nine, is there? And I can't live through the next turn. Man, that was such a shame. Was there somewhere somewhere around the, along the way that I sequenced things wrong? Was it in the game one? In game one, uh, I could play this for two. This could then cost two. Let's just play this. Seven. He, he walks there. If I had 
If I had the build to last, I would have won the game. <sighs> can I somehow win? Can I somehow survive here? So, this would get blocked by the 4-4. This would throw that up in the air and I would smash for 7 total. And I whip in there would just give 8. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see what happens here. If he uh, gets scared or worried... I should have left up a white, but if I had a white, uh, he, he knows I would have won the game. <sighs> Let's see, I'm at three. I have to jump the flyer. I have to jump the other two. Uh, trade with the other two. I can kill the rats. He has to use up his energy. And I might find something. Seven plus two plus two. Yeah, there's there's one hope. If he attacked with everything, I jump so that I le I'm left with the trampler haste guy. I draw the built to uh, last. Play the scoundrel seer guard. Crew it up. Uh, no, I'd have to be able to get the the goggles on it as well. Let's see what he does. He didn't activate. We have to block with the flyer, though. So, yeah, I think what we do here is <clears throat> activate this. We're still alive. We're verily still alive. And he um, he had to be scared of this, but now I, I am... Yeah, by, by doing this, I'm kind of uh, getting rid of the thing he feared the most. But with uh, having two cheapening effects in play, I think I'm giving myself the best option of finding a solution here. Why did you not play that? Just slow rolling it? What is what is what's the deal here? So we have no flyers. No flyers is what we have. So we're dead. Yep. Uh, well that's uh no, there's no point. Uh so close, we were down to one, we could have gotten it with one. Well that that happens sometimes. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next draft, because I still I had to buy enough tickets for two because of a purchase limit. Blah de blah de blah. Buh. One two with a deck that I think could have done a lot better. Next time better. Let's see how it goes.